and now if you click on verify route you have to make sure to grant this it will give you a pop-up congratulations root access is properly installed on this device that means your phone is successfully rooted in this video you are going to see how to root your mobile phone by installing magix 23.0 later on i'm going to also show you what are the steps to set up the magix application and what exactly are the things inside in detail later on at the end of the video i'm going to show you if in case you ever want to unroot your mobile phone what's the easiest way to do it so that you can later on whenever you need also wrote it again so all in all we are going to only talk about magisk in this video so if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and later on if you like this video press that like as well if you have any questions by the end of the video feel free to drop them in the comment section below so without wasting any time now let's root our mobile phone For the installation of Magisk, I have left the link in the description right below the like button. You will be able to go to this website right here on your mobile phone. So make sure you do it on your mobile phone, it's easier. Then you will see Magisk version 23.0 or whichever version is gonna be the latest at the time that you'll be clicking it. Scroll down and here you will be seeing assets and then five. Make sure you click on Magisk v23.0 APK and once you click on it, it's gonna download and let it download and once it is download all you have to do is open your file explorer and find that apk so for me it's here i'll go here and rename this file all you have to do is remove the dot apk and make it dot zip so the final name would be magisk v23.0 dot zip click on ok and suddenly the icon will change and the file will become a zip file that's it all you have to do now is boot into your recovery, which is a custom recovery. For me, it's Orange Fox recovery, but you can have a TWRP recovery, Orange Fox recovery, or any custom recovery that you like. You just have to boot into it. So once you are in the custom recovery, for me, this is Orange Fox recovery. So I'll go to files, click on downloads where the folder is in which the file was downloaded, and then click on the zip file that you just downloaded and swipe to install. Now, if you're into TWRP recovery, you have to go to install. Under install, you will be going to the downloads and in there you will find the zip file that you just downloaded and renamed and then click on it and swipe to install. You will see some instructions on your screen like this. And by the end of it, it will say done. And once this happens, you are free to reboot the system. And that's all. Now, when your mobile is going to boot up, you will have Magisk installed on your system. Now, after your mobile boots up, there are some additional steps that you need for the first time for the Magisk to be properly installed. Make sure your Wi-Fi or data connection is enabled and then try to find Magisk app. You will see something of this sort of icon. Tap on it and it will ask you to upgrade to full Magisk to install the setup. Download and install. Click on OK. It's going to download the APK now, which is going to be installed in the front side of your UI. Since it is blocked, I will allow it from the source and click on install so that you have the interface installed on your phone. Once this is done, you can click on open and you have the Magisk installed on your mobile phone. The easiest way to check if it is installed or not is let me quickly zoom in to show you where to see that. So if you look into the installed, you will be able to see that it says our version 23.0. So this says the latest version is 23.0 and the installed is 23.0. So that means that the Magisk on this K20 Pro is right now installed properly. Now for the easiest part, if you do want to confirm it with the root checker, you click on the application of the root checker, click on agree, skip this all. And now if you click on verify root, you have to make sure to grant this. It will give you a pop-up. Congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. That means your phone is successfully rooted. Now that we have Magisk installed on our mobile phone, as you already saw that our phone is rooted. But as a result of which, now if you try to run the safety net, it will fail on your mobile phone. Because Magisk is installed on your phone, it's not going to pass. And so banking application on your mobile phone would also have issues running it now. So to make sure that those all the applications runs properly and the safety net also passes, you have to configure Magisk properly. For that, go to settings and first of all, make sure this Magisk hide option is enabled. Then on top of that, click on hide the Magisk app. Once you are there, it will ask you for a name. So basically what this is going to do is 
rename your magic cap to something else whichever name you are giving so i'm going to give it settings one two three one to four let's say and click on ok so what this will do exactly is it's going to prevent all the other applications to know that there is an application called magisk installed in your phone because right now click on ok add automatically because right now it was installed as magisk and now that we have changed it the name of magisk has disappeared from your mobile phone if you look here magisk is nowhere here because we renamed it to settings one two four so in here you will see settings and here is settings one to four so if i tap on it magisk will open so basically it's a way to hide magisk in your phone so that no other application can detect if you have magisk or an app named magisk installed on your mobile phone the second step that you need to do is go into the magisk hide settings and enable it that you have already done so if you visit here on the second corner like this shield icon you will see on top here magisk hide is there click on it it will start to load the applications now make sure all the applications which you think would check for root privileges you select them so that they are not able to find out that your device is rooted or not so for me i'm going to select all the banking applications phone pay google pay every payment application as well click on safety net and mostly all the applications like you don't really have to select safety net here but all the other phone banking applications or mobile applications that are from your company bank all that payment applications which would not work if you're using geo make sure you select my geo app here as well because it's surely gonna make issues if you don't so once you have those things selected you can go back back and back and that should be able to fix your safety net so i'm gonna select it again by running it again so if you look here on here safety net click on run and now it's gonna say pass because now safety net is not able to determine if your phone is rooted or not which is the reason now all the banking applications on your phone will work as expected so now that you have magisk installed in your phone and it is configured to work properly with all the other applications and even safety net is passing now let's see what all other options are provided in magisk so if you go to the settings of magisk there is a theme option where you can change the color of this magisk app mostly it's like the name of pokemons the colors associated so i clicked on a random one you can select whichever you want and then on the bottom of it you have the language option where you have a bunch of language this application can con can be configured into then update channel make sure you do not have beta make sure it is stable and you don't have to change this by the way then all the other modules that you're going to download from magisk which i'm going to show you in a while where that will be saved and it's by default the download path and that should be fine inside the download folder then these other options you don't really have to play with it these are by default best settings already present then on the shield icon you have this magisk hide option where you have to hide all the other applications which you don't want to know that your phone is rooted steps are easy click on magisk hide it will load all the applications installed in your mobile phone you just have to make sure that this tick option is there and that application will not know that your phone is rooted that's that and then if you go to the third one here you will find the logs if you want to record the logs or see how these things work you'll have all the logs installed as a module is running or as magisk is running on the fourth one you have the most interesting of all modules now remember magisk is a way to root your device so while routing the phone you also have the option to install various modules on your phone which works after routing your phone so let's say for example you want to record your phone calls right away if you want to record on android 10 and above you are not having the option to record but in here you can see call recorder call if you select here it's going to ask you two things either you want to download or install click on install button and on top you will be able to see that it's getting downloaded so before installing it will first download the zip file and after it has downloaded it's automatically gonna install it you don't have to do anything once this module is installed on your phone you will have a reboot option every module that you download will only work once installed and after that you do a reboot before rebooting it will not work or if it does then it's gonna have broken features so make sure after installation you click on reboot and your phone's gonna boot up 
just as normal. So without having any difficulties, your phone's gonna boot up. Once your phone is booted up, you again search for the name of matches that you gave. For me, it's settings one to four. Click on it, move to fourth option, and you will see it says under installed call recorder. And in here, now all you have to do is search for the call recorder. For me, it's already there on top. Click on OK while using allow, 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 and allow. And just like that, you will also have the call recorder installed here. Click on accept. And it's going to ask you for super SG permission. Make sure you click on grant else it will not work probably. And now you have this installed on your mobile phone. So basically, whenever you're calling, you can actually record your mobile phones. Now, this application is not really a free one. So it comes with a free trial. But based on it, you also have other rooted phone recorder applications, which works mostly with all the rooted phones. So you can click on that and download that as well. But my point was to show you how Magisk worked in the module section. And just like that, you have really a bunch of other modules that you can scroll, see what all things they do. They have a description here. They have the name there on top. And whichever module you want to install, all you have to do is click on this download button on the side of that specific module and you will have it installed in your mobile phone. Once installed, reboot, and that thing will be present on your phone as an application, and then you can use it. So that's all about Magisk and how to use Magisk. Now let's see if in case you ever want to uninstall Magisk, what are the steps? So before you decide to uninstall Magisk, make sure that you know that after uninstalling Magisk, all the applications which were working before on as a rooted app, that all will stop working because basically uninstalling Magisk means that you're unrooting your mobile phone. That's the basic of it. And the step of uninstalling is really easy. Open the Magisk app. It will look like this. And here you will see uninstall Magisk. You click on that and it will ask you to restore images or completely uninstall. If you want to completely unroot this mobile phone and get it back to how it was before you rooted it, click on complete uninstall. You will see a black screen with all the messages popping like this. And once you have everything which says it is, Magisk will get removed from your phone and you will not be able to find it. And right after that, it will automatically reboot. No need to panic. After your phone boots up again, it will not be rooted anymore. And so basically that's the only thing that you have to do. You just have to go open the Magisk, click on uninstall and click on complete. And after that, it's automatically uninstalling and rebooting itself. Now, once your mobile phone is booted, let me show you by clicking on root checker. So opening the root checker, clicking on verify and it says, sorry, root access is not properly installed on this device because Magisk is now gone. And so without Magisk, there's no root on your mobile phone and you're back to square one. So that concludes today's video. The only requirement for this entire video to be followed on your mobile phone is that your phone should have a build of a custom recovery and you should have it installed on your mobile phone. If you don't know how to do that, I have made a video for me or Xiaomi or Poco phones. So click here and watch that video. And if you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you're new to my channel and if you like watching content like this regularly, Click on subscribe and join the family and if you really enjoyed or learned something new from this video, don't hesitate in clicking this like button because it encourages me a lot. And I'll be catching you guys next week with another interesting video. Until then, take care.